the monk sat, you know, with all the rope and dignified and oh, sit in front of the Buddha. <laughs> you get there? kicked in the ass. <laughs> burning one incense stick in front, you know, never moved until the incense is all burnt, but all moved inside. <laughs> Therefore, Lin Chi was covered, always sleeping back. <laughs> but the Master say Lin Chi was meditating and that monk was sleeping. You understand? It's different levels, yeah, yes. The Lin Chi, he slept, but he never slept. He only slept with the body, his mind, always illuminated. Whatever he does, he he's always centered in the self. He's never aviated from the center. But that monk is sat there like a wooden block, but mind going all over direction and couldn't do anything. <laughs> so try to be centered <laughs> and do not criticize people' appearance. The fellow practitioners, some of them are not the way they look. Like somebody just asked me, what's the difference between the faces and what the f different faces people make? Uh, yeah, it yeah. doesn't make any <laughs> difference. <laughs> if some people follow me uh, personally every day, you will think, oh, what's Master doing? Eating, sleeping, doing nothing. <laughs> but all the disciples would be reporting different stories and how busy the Master is, <laughs> twenty-four hours in different parts of the world. Understand? Okay. So what the Master looks like and what the Master does is different things. What the Master looks like is, is depending on our level. We only can understand the Master when we are up to the Master's level or somewhere near. Inspired by the love of the Most High through her meditations, Supreme Master Ching Hai has composed spiritual songs expressing God's unconditional love and mercy. These songs have been arranged by prominent composers and performed by various singers of various nationalities at benefit concerts through the years. At the sincere request of association members during a small gathering, Supreme Master Ching Hai spontaneously sang several of her musical compositions. We now invite you to enjoy the song titled, Remember Me When the Rain Falls, written and sung by Supreme Master Ching Hai. It's called a rain fall. I love rain. So whenever it rains, remember me. <laughs> the rain is like blessing uh, from heaven, see? The, light, the rain is like the connection, the message from heaven to earth. So I like it very much. That's the only thing that I like. <laughs> uh, comfort my soul. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you for joining us in today's program of A Journey Through Aesthetic Realms. We wish you and your families a wonderful week filled with peace and happiness. There is yes. another story about two monks. Uh -huh. The two Zen Buddhist monks are walking. And what happened is that uh, one of the monks saw a woman. Oh, yeah. Really. And the woman had a child, and she was ready to cross a river, but she was scared that she would not be able to cross it. So therefore, the monk who saw her need immediately went, picked her up on his shoulder, and took her with the baby across, left her there, and returned to the other monk. Now, this other monk, as they're Zen Buddhists, they talk very little. After two hours, he asked him, how did you dare to touch the body of a woman? Hold it even. And hold it, hold Probably it. Across. And take her across. <laughs> so then two hours later, the other one answers, I took her across and left her there, but you are still carrying her. Still Those carrying are her up to here, yeah. Attachment. Your... <laughs> <laughs> the inside precept and the outside precept. Mm. The saints, the masters, they do things without attaching to things. They just do what they have to do. 
but other people they do because of their habits and their desires force them to do even mm. though the outside appearance look the same there was one master in china he was so famous and the king loved him so much that he bestowed about 13 wives for that master that was the habit with the kings you know to bestow beautiful women to somebody they in favor yeah, and if you don't accept the favor of the king, then you will accept the <laughs> execution. So accept the gallop. So the master, of course, accepted the As woman, and then all the disciples were excited. <laughs> all the male disciples, of course, say, "Master, if you could have thirteen wives, at least we could have one." Yeah, <laughs> two. Mire, maestro, we could si have two or three. So the master took a handful of pin and swallowed it and say, if you could do the same, you could have even thirty. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all the disciples showed their tongue and so that. <laughs> but of course, there was too extreme of the Master. My he didn't need to do that, to show off his magic. He could use logic, is enough. Yes, yes. there is the difference between people, not only masters and disciples. Therefore, I have taught you to be a frugal, fru frugal, frugal. Uh -huh. and not to be uh, greedy and exceeding your share. Yes, not to spend more than you have. It when it's necessary, we take, we, we use. When it's not, try not to. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. Sometimes we might get sick. Uh, incurable disease. Yeah, I knew one person uh, who practiced, and he, he only always tried to to live on somebody else's, and he has always diarrhea. <laughs> the impure, impure offering. Sometimes we take <coughs> presents from other people, which is impure. It also affects us. Sometimes we don't even know that that affect us. But we become like we own that person or this person something. We just feel like we are bound to them, and we don't know why, we couldn't get away. And sometimes like that, just because we take their presence. There Even is a story about Guru Nanak, and uh, two people come, a rich and a poor man, to give him the money, and he accepts the money of the poor and not the one of the rich. Mm -hmm. So the rich one got very upset and asked Guru Nanak, why are you not accepting my money when you can do a lot with it? Yes. And then he took two chapatis in his hand and he took the one of the rich men and pressed it and blood came out of the work, hard work of all those people he exploited. Mm. And the <coughs> other one of the poor man, he took that chapati and out of it came milk. Mm. Is yes. that why also, you know, Master Charan Singh, for example, and the satsang is, they never accept gifts of the people, like if they Sure. They know if it's contaminated, sure. and plus he only accepts for the work, let's say, of the langar, if there is given food to the people, but never personal things. Mm. Or for ashram, and some people he never accepts even. He, he always paid for what he eats. And for he always paid for what he eats. From yeah. his disciples. He worried about his own, his own personal he karma. Yes. Yeah, yeah. For a He's a very, person. very worried. He's worried? Yes, yeah, sure, otherwise he would take. For eso es que Even from his disciples, he paid. Yeah, yeah. He paid for every meal he ate from every house, any house, from his disciples. Mm. Por oh, eso from es the house of the disciples, let I know. Probably he, he, his merit was not great enough, and he knows it. <laughs> Probably he wanted to set an example to his disciples. Jesus so even such mm. a master, they are not accept offering from other people. How would we dare? Yes, yes I don't tell you anything <laughs> which terrible. is untrue. Yeah, yeah. Even the master get contaminated temporarily. How would the ordinary people? But there is a difference between an adult and a child, of course. If a child uh, has happened to, uh, to, to, to fall into uh, uh, but for yeah. he could not clean himself. Yeah. But when an adult falls into it, he could get out himself and clean it in no yeah. time. Mm -hmm. so that's a different. That's why the ancient monks and even 
modern monks, they never touch you. Never touch me. Yeah. Indian, eh? uh-huh. when they give you blessed food, yeah. they drop in your hand like from that. two kilometers yeah, apart. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. no uh, they did that with monks and nuns yeah. also, not yeah. with only ordinary people. And that's why it came the custom in India, untouchable. It wasn't bad, it was, came from those initiated people who tried to avoid to minimize the contamination with the uninitiated people. And now they made it, they make it become a custom without any meaning. All of them are contaminated together. What's, uh, what's wrong with touching more or less? Understand? Both of them are same. The touch and the, the, touch and the, the, the touchy, eh? uh, uh, the, same. the true Brahmins are those who were initiated in ancient times. When, the ma- when they had a living master. And after the master died and the generation died and no more uh, uh, lineage, and they just, the babies were born out of this Brahmin family, even without master, without initiation, without purity, nothing, they are not touch other because of customs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even though both are contaminated, both are dirty. Mm-hmm. Understand? Yes, yes. So many customs are left over from the spiritual from the heritage. It's not mm-hmm. really bad. Just no meaning anymore, that's all. Saint Just Peter. like St. John, he was a, a great saint, and even yeah. if he baptized people with water, he has a charging power. But now the church, they just sprinkle water on you with no power at all. Why did Jesus say that you have to be baptized by water and spirit, both? He didn't say that. No, I know it was He never said that. When he, he was baptized and John mm. said, No, why are you baptized by me, Master? Mm. You are above me. Mm-hmm. And, the, and Jesus said, Oh, let the law be done. I mean, no. let it be uh, now normally. Mm-hmm. I baptize with water, water. water, but the one who came yeah. after me is mightier than I am, yeah. greater yeah. than I am. You, right. I will baptize you with this uh, Holy ah. Ghost. Uh-huh. I mean, you just inside transmission, mm. you see, the ghost. So in a way he meant <coughs> only by fire. <coughs> That, that the Christian really has to be baptized by fire. Holy, for yeah, example, fire and the Holy Ghost. That so means you, light. Ah, that's the light. Yeah, fire. Okay. And what about speaking in the tongues? tongues? Yes, they speak in the tongue. That the Holy Ghost will mm. speak in the tongue, you see? Uh-huh. Mm. Speak inside. Mm-hmm. Lo que estaba diciendo es. And the fire means the light. And that